so now we will continue with analysis of effects of uh, analysis of effect of uh, varying uh, parameters on system number 2 at uh, site number 1 so 10% increase in the depreciation period will result in increase of uh, power generation cost from 0.056 euros per kilowatt hour to 0.054 euros kilo, uh, um, uh, per kilowatt hour uh, that uh, makes it around 4.42% decrease based on the depreciation period of the service life of the wind power plant uh, being uh, uh, 20 years and that is operational for 100% of the time similarly a 10% increase in overall uh, sis, uh, uh, investment uh, will increase 4.42% uh, uh, per, uh, uh, of the total increased uh, the base investment being 2599000 euros uh, at 100% uh, operation similarly uh, 10% increase in uh, operation of yearly cost uh, per yearly co uh, cost uh, will result in increase in power generation that is uh, documented to be around can be uh, 2.65% increase uh, uh, being the uh, cost of operation 151000 euros per uh, year similarly 10% uh, increase in full load hours uh, will uh, decrease uh, the uh, power generation cost Uh, to uh, to around 8.85 percent. Uh, Similarly, 10 percent increase in interest uh, rate uh, uh, will uh, result in increase in the power generation, and that increase can be calculated to be around 1.77 percent uh, increase. So, uh, coming to the conclusion. the 10% increase in the operational cost and the interest rates result in minor variation of the power generation uh, cost at 2.65% and 1.77% uh, respectively and 10% increase in full load hour result in highest uh, decrease in uh, power generation cost at 8.85% similarly 10% increase in overall investments results in the highest uh, increase in power generation cost at 4.42% uh, interest rate similarly 10% uh, improvement of service life results in 4.42% increase in power generation cost so uh, decreasing the cost uh, the full load hours and thus the site specific uh, annual mean uh, wind speed have the biggest impact on the power generation cost the investment cost represent the second uh, deciding factor uh, uh, regarding the uh, power generation cost the operation cost and the interest rate only have a slight impact on uh, the power generation cost now uh, we will uh, discuss about the environmental uh, environmental analysis uh, that is associated to the use of uh, uh, wind uh, turbines so uh, uh, there are also environmental effects uh, caused by the wind energy uh, converters such as the effects uh, are uh, will be discussed in the following discussion that is uh, basically uh, regarding the uh, manufacturing the normal operation and the possible malfunctions uh, at the end of the operation so first of all uh, uh, let's uh, discuss about the construction the conventional industrial uh, branch such as the classic mechanical and electrical uh, engineer are involved in the manufacturing of a wind energy converter hence uh, wind energy converter uh, manufacturing has the same uh, environmental effects on soil water air and uh, these sectors are known for uh, due to Uh, restricted uh, environmental uh, regulations uh, the corresponding environmental effects are uh, however relatively low uh, also the uh, effects uh, towards the malfunctions uh, during the uh, manufacturing is relatively low uh, with the expectation of the high use of iron and steel materials and other materials that are basically used in Uh, manufacturing 
in normal operation the wind uh, turbines or the wind power stations do not directly release any uh, toxic uh, substances uh, the operation of wind energy converts high uh, certain uh, effects on the uh, uh, has uh, although it has certain effects on environmental uh, environments uh, the uh, basic effects uh, are the uh, number one is the produced uh, audible uh, sound from the rotor generator uh, and the uh, gearbox that are basically the main part of the wind turbine with their uh, rotating rotors and the uh, power station uh, repre uh, represent the acoustic uh, sources the sound is uh, primarily caused by the aerodynamic uh, noise at the rotor blades and by the sound uh, radiation by the gearbox and generator the uh, acoustic uh, uh, source uh, was considerably reduced by the converter castings and by the gearless uh, converter build over the last few years furthermore the gearbox and the generator on one hand and the knuckle on the other hand are separate in almost every modern converter design thus the knuckles uh, do, uh, do not any longer act as the resonance bodies and uh, sound impact has been significantly reduced due to the um, uh, converters built uh, that were basically built in the uh, early ages aerodynamic sound emissions of uh, wind energy converters are uh, due to the air uh, flow around the rotor blades and the rotor blades uh, coming through the uh, tower shadow the mainly uh, they mainly uh, uh, occur at the medium and high uh, tip speeds for the environment uh, solely the noise created at the low medium uh, wind uh, speed is uh, of significant importance since uh, uh, natural wind sound is uh, predominant at high air uh, flow speeds uh, so in the past the aerodynamic sound creation has been reduced uh, by an optimized shape of uh, uh, aerodynamic rotor blade and uh, its uh, uh, blade tip on the whole the uh, further measures have also been taken to reduce the sound emission uh, considerably uh, and it is taken into account that the uh, sound emissions that are being generated by the operation of the wind turbines uh, remain below 5 to 10 dB uh, over the past uh, decade. In this way, the wind energy converters can only be clearly distinguished from the background noise at a comparatively low wind speeds. Uh, sound emissions created by the wind power uh, stations represent an essential parameter for uh, converters and uh, favorable, uh, favorable uh, arrangement of uh, wind energy converters and uh, uh, let's say corresponding selection of uh, converter models uh, may allow to reduce the sound uh, by uh, uh, approximately uh, 5 to 10 dBs at a constant power generation. Also, the uh, legis legislation of the uh, noise reduction and the uh, uh, and the uh, rules and regulations uh, also uh, basically uh, uh, force the engineers to uh, design their windmills in such a manner uh, so that their overall uh, noise uh, uh, pollution is uh, uh, certainly reduced to uh, the ranges of the 5 to 10 uh, deep, uh, decibels. Uh, the uh, there is another uh, 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 sound uh, band that is the infrasonic uh, sounds that are associated with wind turbines wind energy converts mainly emit aerodynamic infrasonic sounds within the frequency range of 0 0.6 to 1.5 hertz at these frequencies the human uh, detection limit is uh, from 120 to 130 decibels uh, is very high at the distance of 120 meters for example uh, 500 uh, kilowatt infrasonic uh, uh, generator of 75 to 80 db were uh, measured in a research uh, where uh, 
uh, they were reduced to, to uh, 67 and 77 db at a distance of uh, 300 meters so the intensity of uh, uh, sound uh, will uh, basically uh, lower down due to the obstructions and the uh, uh, reflection refraction process uh, with the increasing uh, distance since certain distances have to be observed with uh, regard to the building permit and in order to comply with the legislation so uh, there is no impact on the uh, population by the infrasonic uh, sound Also, there is an effect uh, known as the ice throw. Uh, under certain uh, meteorological conditions, icing may occur at the blades of the wind uh, turbine uh, that may become loose or fall off uh, during the startup. The risk of uh, uh, icing may uh, mainly depends upon the respective uh, framework condition and thus uh, the particular a site uh, for example low or uh, high mountain uh, ranges the risk of ice throw at uh, the distance of approximately uh, 200 meter is comparatively low and almost uh, equal uh, to that of a uh, lightning uh, stroke also there is an uh, the natural uh, scenery effect uh, that is associated to wind uh, energy the wind energy converts the technical uh, uh, buildings that uh, inevitably alter the natural scenery as uh, both uh, uh, plant size and pole height have increased uh, uh, relatively over the last 10 to 15 years the impact on the natural uh, scenery have to become increase uh, has also become increasingly important with regard uh, to the wind turbines, there are uh, two uh, different types of impact on the scenery are observed. Uh, the one uh, uh, hand, uh, uh, this, uh, on one hand, they alter the scenery uh, dimensions. On the other hand, they have a significant uh, distant effect. This applies far and foremost to plains and exposed sites. Uh, based on the low mountain ranges as the wind turbines are uh, still visible from a uh, larger distance because they are, uh, they are installed using high towers uh, be, uh, because of the obvious uh, re reasons that the uh, at lower heights uh, the uh, wind speed is not uh, enough or it is uh, facing, facing uh, much uh, fluctuation and its speed is low however using appropriate uh, coloring Tower, uh, tower design and the rotor blade number of the spe uh, speed uh, uh, it can uh, reduce a subjective uh, irritation for instance in most cases solid towers uh, fit better in the uh, scenery than uh, lattice masts and uh, due to their uh, smooth running rotors provide uh, with three rotor blades they are generally more easily accepted by the uh, spectators and um, uh, due to uh, uh, and to date uh, looking at a uh, wind turbine is not considered disturbing in most of the cases furthermore the computerized applications permit to assess and minimize access uh, assess and minimize uh, the effect of the scenery uh, is uh, still prior to the wind turbine uh, uh, collection the other uh, uh, drawbacks associated to the wind uh, tur uh, turbine is the preservation of the uh, bird life with regard to the wind power utilization in terms of environmental effects uh, that uh, interference with the feeding and uh, resting birds uh, impacts on flying and migration uh, migrating birds and the hitting of birds have been uh, rep uh, reported uh, that the birds uh, usually hit the wind turbines. For uh, many bird species, uh, mm, uh, no uh, uh, cons uh, uh, picious, uh, uh, behavior uh, behavioral ch changes have been observed with regard to, to uh, the uh, uh, wind turbines. Yet, uh, also contrary uh, survey results have reported. For instance, white uh, stalk 
uh, uh, react very sensitively to, uh, to the uh, in the uh, vicinity of their uh, breeding grounds uh, uh, basically they uh, lay eggs on the uh, ground level and they keep an eye on uh, the uh, their eggs on, on their nest so they are constantly flying uh, in uh, lower uh, ground areas uh, so the wind turbines can uh, basically hinder their uh, movement so they are in uh, more uh, endangered of being hitting with the uh, uh, wind turbines however with the uh, regard to the wind turbines bird hitting has only been observed occasionally probably due to the uh, rotor sounds and it is only a little uh, of a little importance when it is compared to the effect caused by the uh, other buildings on uh, road traffic uh, or road uh, traffic nine wind turbine sites uh, have been observed uh, over two years in our uh, recent research with regard to the birds uh, that are being killed uh, by hitting the wind turbines so, so uh, there were only 32 birds that uh, were killed and uh, uh, killed or injured and the, these victims uh, were of 15 bird types and there were uh, uh, seven uh, um, sites uh, so and at two sites uh, there was no bird hitting and in the remaining seven sites uh, there were 32 birds that hit the uh, uh, wind uh, turbine rotor blades and uh, uh, and uh, there were uh, 15 different types so also there is a, a space requirement uh, attributable, uh, attributable to the foundations uh, the access roads and the administration between uh, uh, and buildings then the space between the turbines can, can be used for the agricultural uh, purposes so it can be uh, said that in uh, our fields uh, where vegetation is uh, done some of the area if uh, allocated to a wind turbine will not hinder um, any type of uh, vegetation that is uh, basically grown alongside those uh, wind turbines the environmental impacts of offshore uh, wind turbines significantly lower uh, than the onshore uh, wind turbine so uh, it can be said that uh, the offshore uh, wind turbines uh, can be uh, uh, encouraged for uh, their operations however uh, uh, the sound radiated into uh, water might uh, disturb the sea life and the plant uh, structures poses a potential risk of uh, vessel crash, crash now let us discuss about the impacts uh, due to malfunction the malfunction from the current knowledge there are no uh, determined detrimental wind turbine specific uh, effects to be expected in case of malfunction uh, uh, in the worst case uh, limited local effects uh, um, may uh, ensue uh, in order to minimize even those limited effects uh, converters with lubricated gearboxes have been uh, provided with uh, oil collecting pans uh, regardless of the uh, uh, affects uh, the fires of the electrical components including cables may uh, release limited amount of substances into the uh, environment however the substances uh, released is uh, no uh, the however the substances uh, release is not specific for uh, wind uh, uh, power converters uh, uh, that uh, is uh, mm, Furthermore, uh, such occurrences can easily be avoided uh, if the relevant uh, guidelines are uh, basically communicated uh, to the workers or the ones uh, or the people who are uh, living or uh, remain near the wind turbines. Also, mechanical failure such as the rotor fracture may damage the vegetation or trough, uh, for example. Uh, 
Uh, however, it is uh, preferred uh, safety di uh, distance to re uh, residential areas uh, uh, are already observed. The risk of human injury in case of mechanical failure is very low as uh, the rotor fractures tend to occur uh, during the storm when the personal damages are uh, unlikely. So, uh, let us discuss its uh, end of operation. Uh, at, uh, uh, at end of the uh, operation, wind turbines mainly consist of the metal uh, parts which are disposed of in compliance with the established uh, procedures. However, disposable of the rotor blades consisting of uh, gra uh, glass reinforced uh, plastic is uh, still unsettled. Uh, the material thermal disposable uh, disposal uh, by uh, uh, burning these uh, 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 fiber uh, parts seems uh, more uh, appropriate however it is assumed that uh, many turbine uh, components may be uh, recycled the recycling involves the related environmental effects or uh, uh, avoids uh, the described environmental effect in uh, manufacturing of new material is avoided so uh, the plastic that is associated uh, with uh, the glass reinforced uh, plastic uh, it can basically uh, be uh, recycled using uh, the thermal uh, disposal uh, systems 